Hello, and welcome to Media and Information Literacy. I am Armin Rose, and I will be your guide as we go through the contents of this course. This is Part 4, Media and Information Sources, Skills, and Languages. Media and Information Sources When looking up sources of information, it is important to consider the following criteria. Reliability, accuracy, value, authority of the source, and timeliness. Let us look at each of them one by one. Reliability of information. Information is said to be reliable if it can be verified and evaluated. Others refer to the trustworthiness of the source in evaluating the reliability of information. Accuracy of information. Accuracy refers to the closeness of the report to the actual data. Measurement of accuracy varies depending on the type of information being evaluated. Forecasts are said to be accurate if the report is similar to the actual data. Financial information is considered accurate if the values are correct, properly classified, and presented. Value of information. Information is said to be of value if it aids the user in making or improving decisions. Authority of the source. Much of the information we gather daily do not come from a primary source, but are passed on through secondary sources such as writers, reporters, and the like. Sources with an established expertise on the subject matter are considered as having sound authority on the subject. Timeliness. Reliability, accuracy, and value of information may vary based on the time it was produced or acquired. While a piece of information may have been found accurate, reliable, or valuable during the time it was produced, it may become irrelevant and inaccurate with the passing of time, thus making it less valuable. Other information may be timeless, proving to be the same reliability, accuracy, and value throughout history. The library is a traditional source of printed information. Books, journals, newspapers, magazines, pamphlets, pictures, posters, movies, and documentaries. A library started during the Greek times and flourished in the Roman era. Chinese emperors kept religious and official scrolls in their palace. Inventories are filed according to title, author, and subject. The most reliable place to do research up to the electronic age is in the library. There are several types of libraries. They are often classified in four groups, namely the academic, public, school, and special. These libraries may be either digital or physical in form. Several skills are needed in accessing information from libraries. Due to the wealth of information in a library, it is important to know the following things. The access tool to use, how the information being accessed may be classified, the depth of details required, some libraries provide only an abstract of the topic, and more detailed information might require membership or some conformity to set of rules of the source, like database. Characteristics of libraries in terms of reliability, accuracy, and value. Libraries of published books are often considered highly reliable, accurate, and valuable. Books and documents from dominant sources are often peer-reviewed. ISSN or ISBN registration ensures that standards were followed in producing these materials. The Internet. In the information age, most printed materials are translated into digital format and are made accessible online. Because anyone can upload information online, it is best to check these sites and its contributors for reliability. Characteristics of the Internet information in terms of reliability, accuracy, value, timeliness, and authority of the source. The information found on the internet. Wikipedia became the leading source of information for students. It became popular because anyone can add and edit entries. In the early 2000s, 
a major error in an online entry was pointed out by Encyclopedia Britannica to prove that they were still the most reliable source of information because only experts can contribute to their books. This weakness was turned into a strength when the error was corrected the very next day, something that cannot be done by Britannica, which will have to wait until the next edition printing to correct any mistake. The realities of the internet is that there are many fake sites, we have clickbaits, online scams, adverts, and recycled news, so we have to watch the information that we gather very carefully. Information found on the internet may be quite varied in form and content, thus it is more difficult to determine its reliability and accuracy. Accessing information on the internet is easy but it requires more discipline to check and validate. Factual and fictitious data are often merged together. Sources always have to be validated. Current popular alternative media. Other alternative forms of communication and distribution have become popular. These include social media, blogs, and flash mob performances. These alternative forms provide greater freedom and power to ordinary individuals and are a quicker way of distributing information. The downside is that a lot of the information being passed around is biased and inaccurate. Media and Information Literacy Skills Skills in Determining the Reliability of Information Check the author. The author's willingness to be identified is a good indication of reliability. Check the date of publication or of update. While the information may be true, it may not be reliable if it is outdated and may have lost relevance. Check for citations. Reliable authors have the discipline of citing sources of their information. Check the domain or owner of the site or page. The domains .edu and .gov are reserved for academic institutions and the government, respectively. Information from such sites are presented with caution and are usually well grounded. Site owners may have an agenda that affects the manner by which information is presented. Check the site design and writing style. Credible sources take time to make their information accessible and easy to comprehend. Skills in determining the accuracy of information. Look for facts. Cross-reference with other sources to check for consistency. Determine the reason for writing and publishing the information. Check if the author is objective or leaning heavily on a certain point of view. Check for advertising. Advertisers may use related information to market their product. Media and Information Languages Language pertains to the technical and symbolic ingredients or codes and conventions that media and information professionals may select and use in an effort to communicate ideas, information, and knowledge. Media languages are codes, conventions, formats, symbols, and narrative structures that indicate the meaning of media messages to an audience. Technical codes include sound, camera angles, types of shots, and lighting. They may include, for example, ominous music to communicate danger in a feature film, or high angle camera shots to create a feeling of power in a photograph. Symbolic codes include the language, dress, or actions of characters, or iconic symbols that are easily understood. For example, a red rose may be used symbolically to convey romance, or a clenched fist may be used to communicate anger. Convention, in the media context, refers to a standard norm that acts as a rule governing behavior. Messages are the information sent from a source to a receiver. Audience are the group of consumers from whom a media message was constructed, as well as anyone else who is exposed to the message. Producers are people who are engaged in the process of creating and putting together media content to make a finished media product. Other stakeholders include libraries, archives, museums, 
internet, and other relevant information providers. The first step in becoming media and information literate is to understand how information, ideas, and meaning are communicated through and by various media and other information providers such as libraries, archives, museums, and the internet. I do not own the pictures seen in this video. Credit for these pictures belong to their owners. The ideas discussed in this video are based on the content standards of the Department of Education. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.